Ugh, hey, how's it going, guys? So, food poisoning. Let's let's talk about it, right? Um, actually, let's let's show you the deck list first. We're just going into ranked, right? Like this, right? So, here's a preview of the deck. It's uh really simple. Anti blood tech. Strongest thing for this craft, and a uh, neutral package. I think it works out really well. Neutral package synergy right there. And the only thing that I really want in this deck that isn't here is Angel of the Word. I think that card is super valuable and people aren't playing it as much as they should. But it's hard to argue that it's a necessity when you got cards like this, right? So here's the thing. Card draw is your typical issue if you play aggro and Kaiza deals with that. Goblin Mage kind of deals with that too. Grimnir is uh, too valuable. It's got a three stat line health, right? Which is like really good because you can evolve it and trade off with things. You'll get it buffed up by Alice too. So it'll trade off with other things that have, you know, an even stat line, like a 3-3-4-4-5-5-6-6, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, you know, that even is what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, Goblin Leader, it literally just wins you games if they have a bad curve and can't deal with you. So it's hard to say that Angel of the Word should go in above these cards. But um, I'm actually thinking of pulling out Mutagenic Bolt. I feel like you kill them before the spawn comes out or gets near coming out anyways. So maybe you pull this out, put in two Angel of the Words, and you just wreck people. But uh, yeah, let's get into the games. I feel like I don't need any deck testing with this in Unranked. I feel like we're just good to go. So let's see what we can do here. So let's talk about food poisoning, guys. AKA stomach flu, stomach virus. I don't know if they're different things, man, but you got a bad time. The other day, I was up, um, I was out till like 2 a.m. or something like that, got home, went to sleep, woke up at 4 a.m., went to the restroom, did not realize I was in so much stomach pain, I was up between 4, a, 4 and 8 a.m., basically, uh, with number twos that were not quite so solid, if you know what a number two is, and I threw up like three times, so it's like, man, stuff is tough, man, I legitimately did number two more times in 24 hours. In like the last 24 hours, I guess. Then, um, in a week for most people, because I did it over nine times. It's freaking ridiculous, man. I'm just saying, guys. If you gotta question it, right? Don't don't just smell it. That's what I did. I'm like, it still smells good. It's not rotten. It's freaking rotten. <laughs> it's freaking rotten, guys. Don't do it, man. Okay. Oh, by, by the way, about this deck, right? So, um, you can argue specifically for this deck that a, uh, I have an Alice here. Do I want this to get buffed up? No, no, it's fine. These are my best work. I like, give me that. So, just because it smells good and all that, don't, 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 don't judge it off that. That's not how, that's how, not, not how you tell if it's gone bad or not, man. Just don't risk it. It's never worth it. It's only been my second time that ever getting, it. um, the next getting food poisoning in my here. life and it's the worst experience ever man okay so the reason I went with the witch sweet there is because I was pretty sure he was actually gonna do that wholesale swing and um, if I went lyrial right I wouldn't be able to buff it with Alice in the following turn anyway so it's not like I'm gonna be able to do that in his face I feel like a witch sweets here is still an okay play I can do that and then play a goblin um that's okay I like the idea that Alice will buff up the lyrial next turn and I can hit with it right away the gourmet Kaiza stuff is okay too. But which is in the back because I have the goblin right away too. That's it's pretty a okay. If I got three followers, no, he he actually can't play Amelia or whatever it is, so we should be good with this. Yeah, Jenic, I, I definitely do question this card because it's it's just um. I like. Give me that. It's just one card, right? Ah. I mean, it's just, it's just to target one card being spawn, and like, as you've seen in more recent games, I've been playing against every craft, not just blood. Of course, blood seems to be strongest, right? Cyclone. But we've been playing against every craft, and it's like, you know, it seems we're really okay without this stuff. Ugh. So now I wish this was Illyrial, right? If this was Illyrial, right, Alice would come down, get it buffed up, hit there. We'll think about that in the future, but for now, you know, if you can't stop it, you can't stop it. We'll just hit here. Someday. The next batch will be tastier. Give me that. Ow. Still Alice though. That was a mistake. Holy crud. Like. Give me that. Oh wait, actually no. No, that was a mistake. 
This one could have hit here, and the other one would have been a 2 2. The 2 2 still dies at Grimnir, but that one could have hit face, so that's a mistake. That's actually really good for us, though. He's not having the greatest time in curve. That's actually pretty bad for him, too. We can Goblin Leader with Lyro here. Lyro shoots that, and it's dead. Goblin Leader's at 2 3, so Hull's old swing doesn't work out the most amazingly on it. You're done for. He could be playing some like old school like ward stuff that oh if I got this many followers on ward then he can't you know I, or he gets additional effects right or Amelia whatever but I mean still the thing is, is, is it's, hard, it's hard to say what sword is doing right now in the current meta this is not buffed up by Alice feels good man wow That being a best option sucks. Okay. That's okay then. He shot this. Most people would shoot face, but I understand shooting there. That makes sense. Wise Merman buff this up. Feels good. Um, We could just mutagenic here too. That's pretty strong. And just push face damage. I'm 90% sure this pushes face. I think we mutagenic here. I think it's worth. We could double Kaiza too. I could just wise merman this to kill off the 4-2 or you know hit there. Why do you jank this? It looks strong. I like give me that. Don't want to evolve hit here. I don't know if I have anything else that has evolved value at the moment. Two things have four health, as opposed to one thing with four health and one with other. Eh, let's evolve. It I don't think he has the answer to this. If he doesn't have the answer to this, I think he has a problem. Armor weapons more. Maybe I'm wrong though. All I know is I'm pushing damage, and then, you know, this does 3 damage right here. I have a wise merman to push 1 damage, assuming that one of them survives, right? So, I have, a, I have, I have an okay time. That is super clutch, actually. Holy crud. Super clutch. Does he have some for this, though? It all ends here. Oh, super clutch. I mean, it's not enough, but it's clutch. Okay, this is where the carrots come in like crazy, right? Carreto? Uh, does Goblin Leader want to come out? I think it's okay for it to come out. We can Goblin Leader and then Wise Merman. I think it's pretty scary for him. It's not big enough, though, that I would want the Wise Merman to come out on this, though. Like, uh, what, what, what am I expecting him to do is to hit with a, um, a Geno or something like that. What puts most damage out on board, though? This would be 2, 3. This would be 2, 3, spawn 1 off this, 4 damage, right? As opposed to just, this is just 3 damage. I guess that's the best I should do. Goblin Leader. Buff you up, I guess. Fill up almost entire board. We're about to have double carrot in hand, so I guess this isn't that big a deal. Carrots are really, really good now, right? For things like, um... Is it Hector? That's his name? Not Hector, but Hector, the arrow shooting guy, does 3 damage to face, right? I was considering putting that card in this deck along with Angel of the Word, right? Both of those seem really good. But uh, as you can tell, we're struggling with card draw a bit right now. So it's like... Putting more of those into the deck, eh, it seems a little bit iffy, you know, as opposed to the Goblin Mage and to, uh, psh, to, 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 uh, Kaiza. Specifically, instead of Angel of the Word. For the 5 drop slot, right, it's like Felice is too strong. You get Storm on just an Evolve, even if you're not at, you know, the Enhance, you can Evolve it yourself and give it Storm. Sky Knights, prepare for battle. You can get this! All right, I was expecting Albert to come out, and I was like, I gotta split up the damage. I'm not gonna put on the Goblin Leader. What are you doing? He's almost dead here. Three. Bow to the gourmet emperor. Might as well be two, two, right? Shapely and succulent. Shapely and succulent. 
Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm gonna miss out on the Goblin Leader spawn there. That's okay, let's just put face damage. Why not? I could trade off with Albert or something like that. He can actually Cyclone Blade now or something. So that would be a problemo. You want to trade off with Albert here, but at the same time, you don't really. You can actually get me pretty close to lethal, right? This will do four damage. This is still on board, ready to buff up the other Albert. Maybe this should have hit here. Is it me or did I not see the banish effect right there? Huh, weird. Okay, the man is thinking, of course, right? Thinking, quote unquote, thinking. Not just uh, sitting there in a bit of salt thinking, oh man, or well not thinking, because <laughs> that would be actual thinking, right? Not abandoning the game saying, man, I'm going to go get some cereal, get ready for some Netflix, because I quit this game, this guy's pissing me off with this neutral stuff, right? I mean, you're, you're playing neutral stuff too, bro. Calm down. You know what? I haven't seen people play sword with all the new cards. They, they look like they have legit some fun cards, the old man and old woman or whatever. Right, the, the old couple. Things like the ephemera, with you know Albert being able to attack twice, the other dude that can attack twice, stuff like that looks cool, man. I also really like this card with um Shadowcraft stuff. Like uh what's his name? Prince Catacomb? He's still viable, right? Add an ephemera in there, pretty cool. And you know what I really, really like? That um haunted house card, right? That that package seems interesting because it's so if, if you're running things that have ghosties, Haunted House is whenever something dies on your turn, as in you controlled when it died, right? Then you spawn a ghost. And so with that ghost, you can hit face, then sacrifice it to draw cards. There's now two cards that can do that, aka you run two sets of three, being one, the demon, demon something, the other just the, you know, the one play point spell. Both of them sacrifice the ghost, draw you two cards, and you already hit with the ghost, right? It's gonna be banished on your turn anyways. Freaking amazing sounding to me. I mean, that card, through realistic playtesting, I imagine since no one's ever really played it, it's probably bad. But, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you can make it work. I wonder if that was him just literally just leaving the game or whatever, if that was me, like, legit winning, I couldn't, can't tell. I mean, not, not me winning, but like, if he, if he legit AFK'd. Okay, option one. He was actually thinking, highly doubt it. Option two. He was thinking and ran out of time. I like that because most people, you know, do a panic play. Or option three, he was thinking for a bit, then he just gave up and just left and never came back. AKA, he legit went AFK but didn't even try to, you know, keep up with the game. I don't know, man. Alright, Blood, our arch enemy, right? Prepare for defeat. The one deck we can't deal with. I mean, we got me a giant ball right there, but not if it. Okay, Lyriel, that's good. So, Lyriel, it's. It's really strong. It's also just a okay. You know, Angel of the Word's good too. Angel of the Word just doesn't have enough stat points. Most of the time, when you're trying to make a swing, anyways, you need to use an evolve. Like I say, Big Knuckle Bodyguard. Let's say I just shot somebody, but it had the inability to evolve. Let's say that's a new keyword, right? Like, um. I don't know what the name of it would be. Pikachu or something like that, because Pikachu doesn't evolve, yeah? It can evolve, but it just won't. So, if Big Knuckle Bodyguard was like a Pikachu, in that you can shoot something for three, but you can't evolve it, the amount of swing that you would have with it in a turn would be much, much lower, right? Of course, you get to save on your evolve point, but you just can't swing situations that look really, really bad for you. Nearly as much. Cause I mean, it has a really good stat line. That's so annoying. I hate this. Let's switch to sweets. He's gonna kill it. We want him to kill the neutral because we're gonna buff stuff up anyways with the Alice later. Not quite yet, but later. Get him. Ugh, one of the best plays, man. It's either Grimnir or Goblin Leader. That's the strongest the opening, in my opinion, for uh, Blood. But yeah, see, th this situation right here, Angel of the Word, shoots this, feels good, man. Everything else right now feels, uh, iffy-ish, but, you know, it's okay. So I'm gonna put down the Unica, he has to deal with this. We could put down the Goblin Leader, it's 
definitely not bad. He has to deal with the Goblin Leader too. He would use this to hit there, and then it, you know we we have a one two on board. But um, I, I really don't know how much that would have done. I guess I don't know. No. Actually, no. Goblin Leader's probably right. Whoa! This guy's crazy. He says heal up. That's fine. I love it. Okay, this is super strong. Lyriel's also super strong. Lyriel shoots this. The Volve can hit his Lyriel. This one can just hit here. Um, What's the point of that as opposed to Tina? Get two drops on the board instead of one. Sure. So Lyriel would be shoot here, hit here. We have a 4-2 on board. This would be a 4-5 going down to 4-3. Is that super significant? Um, I don't know. Okay, no matter what, I'm not percent sure this hits here. With a Unica? I'm scared that he'll uh be able to kill both of them. They're too value. He really should have killed this, though. I don't see why you wouldn't. Being at four two feels bad though. I'll risk it. So the Scarlet Cerberus can have a pretty good time. You're done for. Because we have a bunch of things that have two or less health here. My wings are killing me. All part of the job. At least we got rid of his Lyriel, so he can't just shoot this. I mean, he probably wouldn't evolve to shoot that. He would probably play something else than evolve and hit or whatever, right? So most likely, this evolve hits here. These two hit here. I don't know. Or I mean, this one hits here and the other one goes in. This guy really, like, did not care about him. About, uh... That Unica earlier, though. It was weird. Police. Deal X damage to an enemy follower. X equals the number of neutral cards in your hand. How many do I have right now? I have a lot. I got one, two, three, four, five. Five is not enough for me to be um going ham on some uh on some uh some spawns or whatever. But you know, doing four damage here and then another four damage here is eight damage. He drops on a twelve. Twelve is pretty good. Thing is, I have anything better, like, right now. I don't really know if I have better. I can't make this Feria really live or do anything. We can Tina here and then shoot this, hit this, then put the Wise Marine on this. This will be doing 5. This one will be at 4-5 or something like that. And I guess the Fleece can come down at any point in time. I make it slightly weaker whenever I'm playing two cards in one turn like this. In terms of, uh, you know, insta-kill value or whatever. But if I'm going to shoot for, let's say, 1, 2... Three. You know, let's just do this. Focus on your inferno, Tina. It won't be long now. If my brother can burn. I beg your pardon. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Oh my wisdom! Ah no! Wait, did you not hit? What the frick? Did you guys see that cue? Oh, your damage could have been so low! What the frick? He didn't do squat! He just said, yo, I'm just living. I'm chilling here. I'm fine. You're fine, dude. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, I hate you, bro. I hate you. I hate you so much. Holy crud, man. That was so annoying. I think the owls comes down. I ignore this. Hit face. Can't tell for certain if that's the right play. It could be Felice. You know what, let's just Felice. I wish Felice would come out with the storm. Maybe I would save that for next turn. I don't know. It could be Alice with the Feria. I don't need to evolve on this anymore after that. Sure. Lands of wonders. Lands of marvels. I am a flower. I bloom on stage. Burn! Fascinating. Ugh. I'm not gonna give him vengeance. I'm a little scared of it because Diabolic Drain and stuff like that. Like a bird, here it goes. 
If he does happen to have, um, let's say a big knuckle body guard, it drops him down to 9 anyway, so that plus 2 damage would drop him. The Felice is a guaranteed extra 4 damage, right? So 4 plus a 6 from here, and if he does big knuckle body guard to do the swing, maybe I'm good to go. Um, big knuckle body guard would kill this, evolve, hit this, I believe it's at 5, 6, so it wouldn't want to trade here. And Felice will be able to, you know, shoot it. Doesn't really matter if it shoots it. It gets the auto evolve, the auto evolve run here. So this is four plus six. It's really close, and then this would drop down to nine at that point, right? He has to kill two things right here, otherwise I win off Felice. Looks like we're okay, because he's still going in for the kill. He gets the six here, but we got seven right there. Not here. Not now. Lucius, I'm sorry. So Felice value. Seems good, man. Really good thing that this whole last words thing, right? It's only on ambush. If you look at it, right, and you see this right here, that that freaks you out. Be like, oh, this thing's got last words. It's crazy. You know, it would kill me right there. But it won't, though. You won't, though. What is this calculated damage right here? 4 plus 4 plus 3? That's right. I said it. I said it. Your strength is Get out of here, man. Oh, Felice. You too good, girl. You too good. You too strong. You need some summertime skin right there. By, by, by that, I mean, I mean like, you know, the, the skin that you apply to card art, not like, you know, she needs to be shown skin or anything like that, because I ain't no weirdo or anything, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to play the game, guys. I'm just doing me like how you guys are doing you. <laughs> I mean, if you're, if, if you're into that, you're into that, do you, by all means, I ain't saying don't do that. But okay, what do we got here? Oh, shit. You know what? I'll, I'll mention this at the beginning of the next video. Just to make sure. So, um, I'm trying to preload up on some YouTube videos because I'm going on a family trip. Going to a cousin's wedding and all that. Seems good, man, right? Uh, I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with it. I would like to hunt for Alice, but it's okay. Which sweets makes things a little bit complicated. In terms of, I do have card draw, but at the same time, I, um, don't necessarily... You want Alice to buff up as many things as possible is what I'm saying. Now, if this were a forest matchup, right, I'd be kind of scared to get shot at by the little uh, elf shooter girl. The one one that shoots one. Random. But this is a-okay. Going in. These are my best Anyways, right. Going to a wedding. You know, family wedding. Like 14, 15 hours away. So, I won't have time to actually be playing Shadowverse from my uh, computer, so as in I can't record it. Maybe from my phone? I don't think so, though. Dude, will I be able to? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, leader or mage? By the way, why are the goblin girls cuties, but the goblin guys legit creepy goblins with these Audi belly buttons? Nothing wrong with Audis. I'm just saying, you don't gotta wear your crop top with it and your little, you know, your little uh booty shorts. I'll go with the Goblin Mage here. Ooh, stuff. Give me. I might want to actually start running stuff in here. Um, Let's say he plays his big knuckle here, right? It'll shoot off a 2-2. Two, two. Let's say you. And then he can use this to hit here. What does he do about this? Nothing. I guess I can run this in at any time. Maybe I... Yeah, I guess I don't run it in because I have a Faria. Next turn, even without an Alice, I can go Lyrial Feria or something like that, or Unica Feria. He might not hit this. Him hitting that's interesting. What are you doing? So Feria no longer does buff this or whatever. Um, that's okay. Illyrial can shoot him in the face while killing this. A Witch's Sweets will draw me a card, and, and evolving the uh, Illyrial there is better than evolving the Feria, because the Feria doesn't really do anything. I mean, okay. I can evolve the Feria, play the Illyrial here instead. This will hit here, the Feria will hit here, this Illyrial will be a 3 3. But this draws me a card, and I don't know when else I would really play it necessarily, but it's, uh, it's okay. I don't know. I could even Goblin Gobby Gobby here. Double Gobby. No, Double Gobby's bad. What am I saying? Uh... Do I care about drawing more cards? Probably not, right? 
to the bone. I am a flower. You can still make a huge swing here. So Faria wouldn't have buffed that up anyways, because it's actually a neutral card. You can still play another big knuckle. Or you can play a um Scarred Sabur. Scarred Sabur would be better value because it's right on curve for him, right? He also heals up when he actually could use some healing. That shoots this, evolves this, this. Feels bad, man. We don't have a great answer for Scarlet Sabur. I've been thinking Hector would be a good option. We don't always have it doing three damage, running into a three attack uh, follower, though. You're cool, right? Lands of wonders! Lands of marvels! I kind of want to evolve this, but I don't think so. So, most likely, he'll run this in here, or, well, you know, Big Knuckle it or something like that. Oh, uh, it's annoying. If he were to run this in here, though, I would be able to Lyriel, evolve, shoot this, and then hit something else, right? That's not really the case here. Oh, he's an evolve! Is that even amazing for me, though? I don't think it's amazing for me, right? Yeah, it's not amazing for me. Okay. Um, which is sweets, maybe. This goblin can actually be the one to fight this, or we can just trade this in here. Let's say, okay. Let's switch sweets. Maybe you can draw something work. useful. Yeah, I really doubted it, but yeah, whatever. Maybe a goblin leader. Goblin leader of all hits that. And then Alice trades off here. Leaving this on board's kind of okay. This goblin leader's gonna get wrecked though. It's gonna go up to four five, then go down to four. It's gonna go up to four five, then drop down by three, so it'll go to four two, and then this two two trades in it perfectly. I don't have anything else to make it a huge target. Like maybe another goblin or something like that would be a good enough target for this to focus it, but I don't really think so. It's cool, I'll play it. It won't be long now. Mine, mine, mine. That looks fun. Uh, that one didn't count. I'm gonna hit you. Hey, that hurt. I'm still under the impression that this Lyriel can actually shoot this and kill it. This doesn't have anything of super value to be killing, anyways. At four damage, it practically has Bane either way. That's a good turn for him. He still hasn't drawn his spawn, or at least his Baphomet to draw his spawn. So, this drawing it potentially is good, the Baphomet. Whether you get it with the the five the five play point to decrease it, the Baphomet decreasing the spawn or not. Also, this fairy isn't super strong because he only got one follower, you know, bigger and all that. Worf, shoot you, hit you. Let's see all options here. Tina, shoot you for two. Hit. Hit. Tina hits here. You hit face. Then Goblin Leader. Or Unica, because we need to survive. Like, right now, right now. Uh. Focus on I'll side the rest in a bit. Tina. Something I started learning as I continue to play the game, right, is you want to compartmentalize your turns. Like, things you think you're going to do for sure, just do them right away. Quick Goblin Leader here, but I don't think I'm going to kill him that much faster with Goblin Leader as compared to Unica. Unica, I think I'm more likely to survive, so I'm going to go with that. I do float a bit of play points, but most likely, whatever I draw here... Whatever I draw here, I it probably doesn't matter if I play this versus this. I'll probably have enough play points either way. That's actually super interesting. That's super scary. I might ignore it. Bandersnatch is like an interesting card that people just really haven't been playing. And it's like, huh. I'll mess with you, man. 2, 3, 1. Um, we have enough for all this. At the start of your next turn, put a follower that costs at least 6 play points from your deck into play. So scary. I don't want to fight it. I think I'm gonna ignore it. 
It's annoying that the wise merman can only buff this up. I think I'm going to keep it. I don't know what's going to come out of that, though. The reason I would keep it in hand is because Goblin Leader is going to fill up my board anyways. I'm gonna kill him. Might as well try and kill him right now, right? Right. Let's just do it. Oh my wisdom! Burn! Someday. Around you. Okay, so. Uh, I figure this being a one-one versus a one-two has almost no difference. He needs to kill a lot of things on board, otherwise, I probably just win. Probably the one two right there, you gotta clear it, yeah. Alice and stuff makes it go crazy. That's a really good turn for him because he's got the Unica. If I had like just a couple things like Fleece or something here, maybe I would have a good time, but I have a pretty bad time here now. Um I guess we throw down our own Unica. We have to trade here, because hitting face it just heals up anyways. And we hit face here. So I kinda regret playing this now, cause Oh my god, Bandersnatch, snatch, man. Bear Snatch, you're so freaking annoying, dude. <laughs> so, I haven't actually played Banner Snatch really, but it seems My as if. Oh, that's a loss right there. You. It seems as if he's playing Banner Snatch, right? If he plays Banner Snatch and he kills it off on his turn, it'll spawn on his next turn, meaning I have a turn to do something before this comes out, which feels really good, man. As opposed to, let's say I kill his Banner Snatch, then it comes out on his turn right after that. That feels bad, man. You know, you don't want to give him that Banner Snatch. You want him to have it you you want to force him to do it that's awkward i hate this lag right here man but yeah so keynotes guys on how to get better at chowverse number one don't get food poisoning don't risk it don't test it just throw it out if you have to it's just food however much money it is you know it's um not worth you you know Becoming dehydrated through diarrhea and then possibly dying off it. People die off that stuff. You guys know what a bug out bag is, right? Uh, it's essentially like a panic, <clears throat> panic like supply backpack or whatever like that, right? For like, a, let's say zombie apocalypse or typhoon, you know, um, I don't know. Government's out to get you. Some some kind of situation happens, right? Some kind of situation comes along, like fire stuff like that, you know. And you have an emergency bag. You gotta have your first aid kit and all your stuff, right? And you, you have your typical supplies that are useful, like uh, I guess you're looking for a fight. Your first aid kit, Prepare your uh, perishable goods and all that and stuff. But um, something that people tend to forget is in those situations where you might have to survive, you know, on your own without some some real food and stuff and grocery stores and all that, right? Is a uh, diuretic medicine or whatever. I believe that's the right term, aka diarrhea, you know, and stuff. People die off that, man. It's, it, 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 you gotta be careful, man. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You guys can't see me, but I got hands up right now, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. It's, it's a real thing, man. It's some scary stuff. You don't want to mess with it, dude. Hungry? Okay, no turn one play. A little bit unfortunate, but, uh, let's still come back. Blood is um blood's aggressive though. See he's got he's got perfect curve and it's like you can't blame him for it, man. They they aggressive with this stuff. They got the they got the strongest package in my opinion right now. So down one fairy, you got two fairies. Typically you're not gonna evolve two fairies in a row or anything like that, get everything buffed up. And if they already have board, it's not really gonna matter, because Feria gets real value off the board being existent, right? Oh my gosh, she's gonna play Alice next turn, it's gonna be huge. This Alice is gonna be huge. Grimnir gets wrecked. It feels bad, man. But what am I gonna do? What else? What other option do I have? I could play a Goblin Leader. I'm expecting him to big knuckle bodyguard. Uh, I guess we can do this. Main reason being that if his goblins run in, if he actually runs in his Goblin Leader instead of a regular Goblin, I can shoot it with the Lyrial. But yeah. You had two really good options there. Big Knuckle or this. 
Six really good options on four is amazing, right? I think this game's already lost. Like this is uh this is the dream opening, right? By turn four. And you know, if we were blood, we would actually have comeback potential by just uh big knuckle this and then evolve hit that. But we're not blood, so we don't have that option really. Lands of wonders, lands of marvels. You're done for. Um going to change the world looks fun pretty sure that's the right call being at 5-4 means that big knuckle can't kill it that's about it it's not like it was going to be at 5-2 with anything on board that would have traded into so it wouldn't really matter for the uh scarred Sabur. he can always hit with just this and then scarred Sabur. i mean and then um hit with this for scarred Sabur. hit with that one because it wasn't buffed up by uh alice Oh my gosh, that's so strong. Blood is too strong, man. The question is, why do you play anything other than blood? And the answer is, you, you just don't. Why would you? Uh, shoot. We can Feria, Lyrial, Merman. Feria would, I guess, hit this? I don't really know. It could hit this. That's fine. The Lyrial will be almost big enough to fight that. It will be big enough because of Feria, and I guess it'll be even bigger with the Merman, but the question is where does the Merman go onto then at that point, right? I guess this becomes a 3-3, which is nice. 9% sure we lost though. We can only clear one thing, right? Let's say we clear the biggest thing on board. He's got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't even need anything in hand. Yeah, okay. We'll just end this I'm one quicker through. and try and slip in one more game, right? Felice is amazing, but we haven't been able to make it to Felice. I mean, it's not like we're losing the majority of the games, right? We're still, uh, I think we're even right now. I think we're 50-50. Uh, the master score says we're positive, though, because I started at basically zero. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's, that's what happens when you, uh, are testing out decks, number one. Number two, when you're playing decks that aren't blood and you know blood is the best right now, like, I don't even really even argue with it. Blood is the best right now. Because, um, you win so much of the game off the early game, right? If you just play an aggro enough deck, aka almost any neutral deck, right? You can probably make it work. Just have the aggro in the beginning and just shut down other people's aggro. That's the main thing, right? Not every not every deck answers. Every deck threatens, but not every deck answers, right? So, in my opinion, Blood has the best answers for that early game. For the swings, right? You got Big Knuckle Bodyguard. Huge swing. You got, um... You got Scarlet Sabur for the, uh, not, not as big swings, but sometimes more clutch swings, right? Because of the Bane. But you, you require the Evo for that, but I'm just saying, it's there. I like no. Give me that. My boss works us to the bone. And uh, you got Tove, right? Tove comes out with Rush, so you don't need the Evo point. So those three things combined add so much swing, right? A 3-3. Three, three, it trades into any two drop. It trades into any two drop. That's huge. Let's draw a card. These are my best work. Let's buff you up. Trade. I'm not neutral, right? Let's buff you up anyways. All my wisdom for you. All part of the job. Ah! Now. Why should I hit face instead of hitting here? I'm gonna hit here. I have a feeling he's a Lana. With with with, with the with the rabbit mage, whatever, right there, real quick. It's 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 Oh, I'm stupid! That was a 2-1, wasn't it? That's a 2-1. Okay, this should be a 3-2. But I wasn't really thinking clearly. We got a goblin here. That's okay. It's not great. I'll trade here too. The next batch will be tastier. So that was definitely a misplay, right? I could have played double Unica there, but I think that having a bunch of two two health uh, followers isn't the greatest. And having more 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 neutrals works out with Elise pretty well. Got 
to win. I want you to come in with Storm. Hey, War Seven's pretty freaking big. I'm gonna go You're for it. For. He might not be running tribunals, no no looking. Here goes. and you can't quite Themis yet. This thing's pretty huge. You got the same turn right right away too. Oh, that's a tribunal. Oh, he's got nothing with the crud. Here goes. Ah. Okay, so Faria wouldn't have buffed that up. Um. Fleece comes down, and he actually probably, uh... Themis is his turn, right? If he's gonna Themis, I'm gonna put a carrot down. I can get this extra damage in any time. I want it to be more towards the lethal to freak him out a bit. I want him to Themis the carrot, rather than to banish it. He's not gonna banish and Themis in the same turn, right? It's pretty apparent if you're gonna pass like that, that you're just gonna Themis. In my opinion, at least. No evolve necessary. Uh, we want more of a... Let's see if he has another one. I could evolve this, but I don't think so. Evolving this would be so that he couldn't priest it or just banish it. That's actually pretty clutch, but the thing is, if he had another Themis, that'd be a very awkward situation. That's actually pretty okay for me. I can probably shoot that and maybe be okay. Actually, no, not quite yet. So I can hit with this, this carrot, and then Felice can come down and shoot, right? Um, getting another Felice right away is not the greatest situation, but it's a-okay. So let's hit here. We hit here, this will do three damage because the carrot will come back into hand, so that's okay with me, right? Carrot be clutch, man. Shoot for three right here. Then you get the auto evo off the enhance. Rush face, right? Seems good. We actually probably should have evolved this to be uh, threatening. Well, not, it's, it's not exactly threatening lethal, right? But having this other Felice means we're getting really, really close, and the Grimnir will probably threaten lethal pretty soon. He's gonna maybe Aegis or something like that, but say okay. Look at you. You're hurt. That's really annoying, though. Luckily, he hasn't gotten his Alana yet. He already used two Themises. He's not gonna have another, right? So if I Alice here, Carrot here, Actress Feria, Feria evolves, hits him. We're pretty good. I want to save the Grimnir for um a bigger card. I mean, uh, not not for a bigger card, for uh, more face damage. As in, this will do four to him next turn. And then the Felice will only have the Carrot and the Grimnir to shoot. That's the only problem I'm thinking about for this turn. I think it's okay, though. Rushing the face right here with Felice doesn't really do much for me, in my opinion. So, we do this, yeah? And I'm just killing this because it just seems more efficient than doing anything else. Buff up the rest of the cards on the board. Threaten lethal, essentially, if he doesn't clear two things or more. Because we have Felice. I mean, Felice and Grimnir both do four damage, doesn't matter which one we do. But, uh, yeah. If he doesn't clear two things, let's say he clears the biggest one, and he doesn't clear the other two. Four, eight, we only need another three. This is four damage, this is four damage, right? That's not enough. Let us conclude. Felice, uh, you still MVP, girl. Show's over. Show him what you made of, girl. I've got to win. Let me just do this too. I just want to see what I get. Okay, pretty good overall. That's the first game where Felice really, really came into play. So I'm pretty happy about that, you know? I mean, it came into play bit by bit the other games, but getting a bunch of them back to back to back felt pretty good. So I don't think we have enough. For, yep, we don't got enough for anything. I believe we're done with our missions and stuff. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and call that the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, I'm saving up videos for you guys while I'm away at a wedding. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to call it the end of the video. I love you guys. Oh, boy. See you next video. Check me out on twitch.tv slash quasipro as always. And, yeah. Brrrr.